You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. Yes, video is our topic today in episode 115. Uh, All the show notes and links to resources and the download I'm talking about today, which is courtesy of Jocelyn England from Fidelity National Title here in Las Vegas, is 20 simple real estate ideas for doing video now. Uh, Certainly don't have to do all 20 of them, but it'll give you some ideas. We've shared tons of this content in the past. And today I I don't want to talk about just doing real estate video. I really want to focus on the power of Canva. Canva Canva.com, if you're not aware of it, is honestly, Matt, we have used that since the beginning of our company, right? For five years. Both our companies. For five years, years. both our companies. Matt Emerson is a power user. In fact, he just did a tutorial for the company on how to use Canva, right? Yeah, and I am not a marketing genius, and it makes you look like one. It's easy, (laughs) right? So all the people that were don't like Photoshop and all that. If you haven't heard the word Canva, then man, you got to go check it out today. Just go to canva.com. You can get a free account. Now, what I'm going to talk about today for premium, the other thing that Jocelyn told me yesterday is, I don't know if they're going to continue this, but Matt, did you notice that, remember how it always was a dollar, even in premium? All those dollar photos are free right now. So that I don't know if they're doing that during COVID-19 or if that's their reach out, or if it's going to continue on. But if you pay the premium, which I think is like 10 bucks a month, right? Right. It's not much. It's if you're you using it at all, it's not much. Uh, and you need to have premium to be able to get to the video templates. That is an upgrade, but it is so worth it for the sheer content of what you can do. So she opened my eyes yesterday because all we did in that segment was she recorded and just showed how easy it was to actually, for example, take your phone, do a quick video, upload it to Canva, and then go pop it in like it was an image into one of these templates that they already have designed. Change your colors, your branding colors. Uh, and if you're not a creative, and like I'm not, I, I, I will t- Matt will tell you, I will say, Matt, I have this thing in my head of what I would like you to help me design. I'll sketch it out generally on a piece of paper. I'll try to describe what it is I'm seeing in my head. And he will take it and make it 10 times better. But if I go in there and try to figure it out, I'll be down that rabbit hole of picking, looking at the templates and trying to figure that shit out. Oh, I cussed. <laughs> the key to that, though, if you don't figure have, that out, if you don't have the eye, though, the key to Canva is really just use their templates because you can just change. Yeah. It. I mean, it, the, there are so many in there. It's amazing. Now they add them all. The there's new ones all the time. Well, that is. But the that's the problem. I'm I saying know. you go in and you can't pick it, and I don't have that eye for detail or design. But it, but it does help me even if I am going in there. But even when I go and attempt to do something, uh, you know, Matt will say, "Here, I'll take that and make it better, or have it in more in alignment." So if you have a mat, you're in good shape. But if you're not, you're still going to be okay. Yeah, you're going to uh, be fine. It's a so great in group. our in our notes today, I have a link to getting started with Canva, the video tutorials, and they they, they their design school for the tutorials is awesome. You just take it in little bite sized chunks, and you can learn everything you need to know about Canva. So hey, if you're in day thirty three quarantine like us, you know you could maybe take day thirty four, day thirty five, and just say, you know what, I'm going to take a couple hours, and I'm going to learn how to use Canva because you will be loving how well that helps you with your overall marketing, not just for video. Uh, just for your social media, obviously, but just for creating, I we use it for everything. So yeah, if you gonna... hey, if you if you spend any money on having marketing created for yourself, you're going to save money by learning this program. You really are. And once you get going on it, you're not going to take. It doesn't take that much time if you have you, you, kind of uh, your plan down. So yeah. oh my God, we're talking about everything: postcards, flyers. Uh, we're, we're we've created our entire. Uh, a magazine style recruiting oh, piece. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're about to take and take our listing presentation and buyer consultations that are in PowerPoint, but but take them into Canvas so that we can do a little bit more. It's way easier to create in Canvas than it is in PowerPoint, or you know you have a lot a lot more that we're going to do. So we're about to take that to a new level as well in those areas of our real estate business. But this video piece is so awesome. So there are uh, there's also a link to where the templates are. So as soon as you get in there and you're in that premium. You could just click on the video area and start looking at templates and so forth. Uh, now, not only can you put your video up there, they already have snippets of videos, right, Matt? Did you yeah. find any of those? Oh, They're like 50, yeah. 10, 15 second video, and now you can put overlays and text on it. And so now you can create pieces that go out that capture the eye. The statistics we've been talking about in all the previous episodes, just go to your own homework. Video works. Video has been working for a couple years. 
if not longer. Video is king on social media and you have got to find a way. So I was hoping that this episode will help you. If you're afraid to put yourself in the video, which is a huge mistake if you don't do that, you could at least start working with some video and animated stuff that is, that is in the library there for you and uh, start working with that. So not only does it help with that, but if you're into Instagram stories, you just mentioned at the top of the show, you could, you could pick templates for Instagram stories. There's animation in some of them. And all you have to do is go in and put your specifics. They've got so funny because when she was showing me that, I follow people on Instagram stories and I'm like, wow, that's clever. Well, turns out it was one of the templates that she just uh, showed me that yeah. people had picked. And it was like, you know, here's my, you know, five emojis. What are yours? You know, and those there's templates already in there. And if you're not super creative to help you with stories, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, um, clearly you could take these videos and put them on social media. But if you're looking to do lead gen, now you could do something that's really clever with your videos and boost the post and run an ad and see if you can't do some, some other things. Uh, the other thing I like about video, I always talk about how you repurpose your video. So if you're creating something on video with Canva and making it look, you know, so imagine your face, your face, you doing a one minute video, an educational piece or something, but now you go put that into one of these templates and post it. It just catches the eye a little bit more. It still has you but it might have a message on it or it might have an image or, or something or color or something that might attract somebody to stop and pay attention to it. Uh, so that's what's powerful about that. Now, of course, once you do a video and you use it and you upload the video native to, to um, your Facebook, that's powerful. Facebook likes it when you don't put a link to the video where it sits over on YouTube. You right. should actually load the video to your Facebook. I was going to yeah. ask you that question because it's really interesting. I was doing a little test because I've been running different uh, uh, things the, the last couple of days. And I had a really good uh, view rate yesterday on Facebook with a video that I had posted. And I thought to myself, gosh, I would love to have had all those eyeballs on my YouTube channel instead of on uh, Facebook. Right. So today I posted my video from YouTube there. And I'm anxious to see how many people click through because it will be very interesting to, to see the difference there. I think you're going to find, I predict, that you're going to have more views on Facebook. It's interesting. And Facebook will position it better because it wants you to put the video there, not on YouTube. Right. So you could do both, right? Of course, you should do both. You should put your video on YouTube. Right. You could also, you just, you're going to test it. So now you'll have a test case and we should report that next week. And you know what How I'm actually going to do? This particular thing right now, I have three one minute videos I'm going to do over the next three days. It's a three parter. I think I, to, the way to really test this, since it's the same kind of series, tomorrow I will just post it on Facebook and see if that same type of video, what kind of the, the traffic is different. Because I, I really was wondering that yesterday and because you hear so many different things right i guess you just have to try everything yourself i i agree but people are more less likely to click away from facebook they're scrolling they catch well, your thing and, you and know they want to stop and look at it to that point because of the way the loops work on facebook it's always a, an an the, the, there's movement as they're scrolling down the page the other thing is just a static picture that they that's have. the whole purpose of doing this is what it's we're awesome. talking about yeah so i love it so check those out I'll give you a couple other ideas so you're going to go play with that make your videos pop keep it simple. There's so many things you can be doing. Like you could be doing right now in the, just to highlight a couple of the ideas that are in this top 20 videos to download video content ideas for real estate agents, market updates. That clearly is something you could be doing almost on a weekly basis. That's something we've been talking about in our 30 day David Squire, our guest coach and awesome trainer has shared. He's been tracking weekly statistics for a couple of years super powerful what we're learning in our market. And it's so intriguing because I saw a post from a friend is in Atlanta, North, uh, she's in Woodstock area, North of Atlanta. It's different market, totally different market. They are having not as much inventory and still some buyer, a little less buyer, but there's, but there's, they're really having not as much of a, a loss as we are right now. We're in Vegas. We're having people put their houses on the market there in her town they're not getting a lot of inventory, which is creating the, even though there's less buyers, is creating the, the need that, you know, that whole seller's market still right. so intriguing that it's different in different parts of, this, of, the, of the county. But the real estate market update is a classic one you could be doing every week just to say, here's the stats from last week, here's the trends, now's a good time to, you know, if you list, this is what we have to do. If you're a buyer, there's opportunities, there's all these things you could be doing there. Um, the thing I think is the big one you could be doing right now, you can get all 20 of these in the downloads today over at the show notes at uh, episode 115. But you could be doing um, the behind the scenes. 
you know, be showing that you're doing Zooms or frankly, you could be doing some video around that about what it's like to work virtually. Everyone loves the whole behind the scenes thing. I haven't been doing that and I'm going to do some of that. It certainly could be talking about ways you've adapted your business. Um, you know, you could be doing tips on buying and selling. So the idea that I've always shared with, with everybody is create a show, you know, create a consistent thing that you're doing. And once a week you're posting something that is what I call evergreen content. So the market, the market update is in the moment, but the evergreen content is more like, here's another thing to know, or here's, here's a, a series of answering people's questions about the buying or selling process. So, there's a ton more that you can do uh, that you can grab. Uh, some of them are going to require you to, you could even remotely though, even if we were talking about local business spotlight, which we've talked about on the show numerous times, do a zoom. How about talking to a business that's open right now and talking to them to support them about how they're working in the community and sure. how their business is open. There's all kinds of ways that you can adapt that content that we have for you today. So the other things we have for you as well is, um, uh, uh links to our previous podcasts and some other resources where we talk about video and tech, you know, technical stuff on video all the way to how to repurpose your video, because there's so much you can do. You can put it in your newsletter. You know, there's just video is just so powerful. Just one video a week could turn into so much content and so many ways for you to use it and it will make a difference in your business. So we really urge you now's the time jump in, but why don't you go try it and make it easy by playing with Canva canva.com and check out the video templates and maybe that'll be your entree into the video world and you will be seeing like matt has just done with some posting some national park stuff and, and actually disney I, it was I, disney I stuff, up, yeah it was disney right and you got yeah. some great interaction with people right, and, right? so yeah. good stuff all right good stuff that's it for your tip today i, I wonder if we'll ever talk about video again yes always <laughs> I have everybody that listens doing it. I know. So it but it's so awesome. I love it. So